Understanding Judicial Restraint, a key concept in legal systems. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important legal principle that plays a crucial role in how judges and courts make decisions. Judicial Restraint. This concept might sound complex, but don't worry, we're going to break it down together. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what judicial restraint is and why it matters in legal systems around the world. Judicial restraint is a legal principle that guides judges to limit their own power. It encourages judges to avoid making sweeping changes to law unless absolutely necessary. Judges practicing judicial restraint typically defer to the decisions of the legislative and executive branches of government, unless those decisions violate the Constitution. This approach is based on the belief that elected officials, rather than appointed judges, should make laws and policy decisions. Judicial restraint is built on a few key principles. Respect for precedent. Judges should follow previous court decisions, also known as precedents, whenever possible. This promotes stability and consistency in the law. Minimalist approach. Courts should decide cases on the narrowest grounds possible, avoiding broad judgments that could lead to significant legal changes. Constitutional modesty. Judges should remember that their role is to interpret the law, not make it. This means being cautious about declaring laws unconstitutional unless they clearly violate the Constitution. It's important to contrast judicial restraint with judicial activism, another approach judges might take. Judicial activism refers to judges using their power to promote social change or personal views, often through broad interpretations of the Constitution. While judicial restraint emphasizes caution and adherence to precedent, judicial activism is more about pushing legal boundaries. To understand judicial restraint in action, consider cases where courts have deferred to the legislature's authority, even if the judges personally disagreed with the law. For instance, a court might uphold a law it finds inefficient or outdated, simply because it doesn't clearly violate the Constitution. These examples highlight the restraint judges exercise in not overstepping their bounds. Thank you for joining us to explore the concept of judicial restraint. This principle is essential for maintaining a balance of power within a legal system, ensuring that judges interpret rather than make the law. We hope this video has shed some light on why judicial restraint is so valued in legal circles. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful videos. See you next time.